welcome to my Shadam movie review. It's Shadam was directed by uh, David F. Denver, uh, starring Zach Levi, Mark Strong, Ash Angel, uh, that Daniel Gleister. I released that April 5th, 2019. Running time 132 minutes. Budget is 80 to 100 million. Box office 366 million. And I'm surprised that this movie makes more money than it did. Because, because there's some movies out there's some stupid home movies that make more money than this movie. That that was bad. This movie made less than some of the other ones that were not good. Stupid home movies than this. And I gotta say, I think it's my favorite DTU movie. I think it's this is the best. DTU movie so far in my opinion and my favorite the best in my opinion okay um I, I don't think people were expecting this movie to be good people probably people were expecting it to be bad and stuff but I like it the action was good the humor was good the emotion was good the tense was good like with the with the fact with the foster home dynamic was good um, uh, every time you turn to, uh, the adult version of Shadam, you know, with Billy Batman and Shadam, the movie really awesome. I gotta say, I like it better than Aquaman, I like it better than uh, Wonder Woman. I think those three, so far, is the best DTU movie. So, work the, work the, with, uh, Wonder Woman 1984, um, um, Falls in the play. If 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 if, if one woman like any four, uh, take over one of those three movies become like the best DCU movie for me or my favorite or whatever. But for me, I think this is the best and my favorite DCU movie. Um, and the uh, um, uh, if you ask me top three uh best DCU movie, I would say uh Shadam, Wonder Woman, Aquaman. But I can't say that right now until um, I haven't seen Wonder Woman 1984. But right now, before Wonder Woman 1984 comes out, I think Shadam is still my favorite. And, and I think it's best. And maybe uh, Wonder Woman coming second. And Aquaman coming third. Uh, but but what the, is that ranking, my ranking right there, hold up. And, or if it still holds up the thing or change after I. Uh, in June, now for uh, Wonder Woman uh, 1984 come out, okay? If you're a fan of superhero movie, I highly recommend it. It's funny, got some good things, uh, emotional, um, and after uh, I saw that movie, I wanted a, uh, I wanted a uh, Shadam 2. I hope they do make a Shadam 2 and a Shadam 3, but it's all the same after. The only problem I have with this movie is um it shows Superman at the end but they don't show him and Cavell face. Okay, it's just the neck and, and and the costume. And there's a good um end credit thing, like make reference to Aquaman. That's good. So I like you damn so much that I'm gonna give it an A plus. Okay. It's awesome. Who doesn't who doesn't like them? Okay, um, did did it it stepped in the right direction for DCU, along with Aquaman and Wonder Woman. But if they keep making if DCU keep making more um um DCU movie like your damn in the universe, whatever you gonna call it in the universe, like your damn, then the the universe will be good. And uh, this is the uh, one that I really like. I like one Woman, I like Aquaman, but when I talk to them, I'm like, wow, that's the one I really like. And I like Shadam better than some of the stupid ones we got in the past. So uh, that's my review of Shadam. I highly recommend it. If you're a stupid hill movie fan, like watching stupid hill movie, check it out. Okay? And um, thank you for watching my Shadam movie review. Thank you.